Good evening, families. D. Roy Kennedy Public School and families entering uh, the OCDSB. I'm Andrew Nordman, principal at D. Roy Kennedy Public School. Uh, I have my team here um, to uh, help us navigate through our kindergarten uh, information presentation tonight. Uh, we uh, will be uh, providing you with uh, a lot of information tonight uh, going forward and we hope that it is informative to you. Uh, should you have any questions for us, uh, should you have any questions for us, uh, I would uh, point you in the direction of the uh, Google form that was placed on the school district's website and we will monitor that uh, throughout the evening and answer any questions that we have at the end. So that being said, I will turn to uh, share my screen and we will look at beginning our presentation. So welcome to kindergarten. Uh, September 2021 is uh, coming up and we'll be here um, um, uh, probably sooner than you think. Uh, we're ready to help your child explore the uh, world that is uh, kindergarten and their entry into school. I would like to acknowledge that our learning is taking place on unceded and unsurrendered Algonquin territory. And we thank the Algonquin nation for hosting us and recognize their enduring presence on this land. Tonight we'll be discussing information to help you better understand the OCDSB, our school community and kindergarten as you plan and navigate your child's schooling experience. Throughout the uh, presentation, we'll have information about the school district and about our school in general. First, I would like to play a message from our director. Welcome to kindergarten and welcome to the OCDSB. We know that this will be the start of a wonderful educational journey for your child. Our kindergarten teachers and early childhood educators look forward to working with you and your child as we embark together on an exciting two years of learning. Our full day kindergarten program is the launch point to an array of programs that the OCDSB offers. During your child's school presentation, you will hear about the opportunities that your child will have to develop their French language skills. In the kindergarten program, our students receive exposure to both French and English language programming in a 50-50 format. They will have the opportunity to develop a strong foundation in both official languages as they begin their educational journey. You will also hear about the early French immersion program where starting in grade one, your child will spend the majority of their day being taught in the French language. Students can also enter French immersion in grade four in the middle French immersion program where two thirds of their day is taught in the French language. In the English and alternative programs, students receive instruction in English as well as 200 minutes per week of French instruction. This is called core French. All of these programs are available to all of our students. It is your choice. We look forward to welcoming you to our schools and don't hesitate to reach out to your child's designated school to learn more. The first day of school in kindergarten is the first day of a wonderful road ahead. Our OCDSB team is eager to welcome you, your child and your family to our learning community.
So the OCDSB is a place for every student. Students are why we are here. Uh, we serve every student by each one being seen, being heard, and know that they matter within the, our community. The OCDSB has a strong commitment to human rights, equity, and inclusion. We will continue to work together to dismantle barriers to learning and help all students achieve success. With a focus on human rights and equitable practice, committed to creating welcoming and safe spaces for all students. Our goal is to meet the unique needs of every child. Our learning support services team is always available to schools to support our early learners. Our learning support teachers, our psychologists, our social workers, our speech language pathologists, as well as educational assistants dedicated to our kindergarten classes are some of the specialists available for our schools. If there's a child uh, and they think that their child may require uh, additional learning supports, um, please contact uh, the school principal, myself, uh, to discuss those needs. If you identify as First Nations, Métis, or Inui, you may have access to additional supports for your child as well. The OCDSB has an Indigenous education learning team who you can reach out to for support. The team consists of two instructional coaches, two support uh, student support uh, coordinators, a graduation coach, and a system vice principal. At registration, you can complete the voluntary confidential self-identification. Visit our website, uh, uh, the OCDSB website for details on resources and support, or email the vice principal of Indigenous Education for more information. And her contact information is right there on that slide, jody.alexander at ocdsb.ca. All schools in the OCDSB are grounded in a community of character and exit outcomes. This is the umbrella over everything we do. The Ottawa Carlton District School Board's A Community of Character is a set of attributes that were discussed and chosen by a myriad of stakeholders. The purpose of these attributes is to provide a standard of behavior against which all individuals in the OCDSB hold themselves accountable. Our character attributes are the stepping stones to building our community or character. And those are found on the left-hand side of this slide. At the Ottawa Carlton District School Board, our vision of student success goes beyond the classroom. Our goal is to prepare students to be successful in life. The OCDSB exit outcomes identify five characteristics and five skills that we are trying to develop in every student. This work begins in kindergarten, and we hope that by the time students graduate, they will move confident, confidently into the world, equipped with a strong academic foundation and the learning skills they need to navigate future pathways, whether that is work, apprenticeship, college, university, or community living. At D. Roy Kennedy, uh, we are a kindergarten to grade eight school. We are a proud part, of course, of the Ottawa Carlton District School Board. We believe in developing student character through our community of character uh, uh, program with the district. Our students, staff, families, and community together form a strong partnership in support of student learning and well-being. We have many school clubs, activities, and sports, and those uh, examples can be found on our school uh, website uh, under the teams and clubs uh, um, menu item at the top of the page. And uh, we certainly promote acceptance, belonging, and contributing to society. And you will find woven throughout our um, um, school, our use of the WITS program, uh, bullying prevention and intervention program to make our school a safe place to learn. Uh, on the right-hand side, side of this slide, um, identify some of the key members of our kindergarten team. Um, I, I've introduced myself. Our office administrator is Patty Clark. Our office assistant is Afnan Mansour. Uh, and our 2020-2021 kindergarten team is listed there. Haley uh, Gregory, Don Jung, Heather Kurgoche, Elizabeth Ritzima, Stephen Little, and James Kennedy. Electronic coordinates for uh, DROI. Uh, our website is uh, www.deroykennedyps.ocdsb.ca. The importance of early experiences for a child's growth and development is recognized in the design of the kindergarten program, which starts with the understanding that all children's learning and development occur in the context of relationships with other children, parents, and other family members, educators, and the broader environment. 
Parents and educators play an important role in a child's education. The OCD SB's kindergarten program is a two-year program. All of our kindergarten classes are combined grade classes, meaning year one and year two students, formerly known as JK and SK students, and they are grouped together. All classes engage in a learning based on the kindergarten program from 2016, with 50% of their instructional time in English and 50% in French. If your child will be four or five years old, by December 31st, 2021, they can start kindergarten in September 2021. Considering there's a broad range of development with ch children at this age, by combining classes together, children are able to develop at their own rate, flowing freely between the expectations of the two-year program. If a child requires more time, uh, requires time to reinforce their learning, the two-year program offers them opportunities to do so. If they require less time to reach proficiency, then they can easily move into and on to more challenging ex uh, explorations. The program aims to provide every child with the support they need in order to develop self-regulation, health, well-being, and a sense of security, emotional and social competence, curiosity, and confidence in learning, and respect for diversity of their peers. It is a play-based program. Children are full of natural curiosity and they explore this curiosity through play. In our kindergarten program, teachers and early childhood educators structure play to create learning moments, and of course, making it purposeful. Our kindergarten program provides children with educational activities appropriate for young learners, taking into account their physical, intellectual, social, and emotional needs. Their world is one of curiosity, exploration, and imagination. Children investigate and develop an understanding of their world through play. Educators observe the children's social, emotional, physical, and intellectual interactions within a classroom setting, assessing their stages of development aligned with the curriculum and supports and encourages experiences for, to further their growth. Each kindergarten class is led by a team composed of a teacher and an early childhood educator. The team works together to plan for and provide meaningful learning opportunities for the children and to create positive, welcoming, and safe learning environment. On average, classes have 26 students, although depending on enrollment, classes can range anywhere from uh, low teens to a um, maximum of 28. This year it's 29, but next year it will be 28 because of ministry mandates. The day is comprised of a 300 minutes instructional day. Students are assessed and evaluated based on their growth in relation to the overall program expectations from the four frames of learning in the kindergarten program. And those are belonging and contributing, self-regulation and well-being, demonstrating literacy and mathematics behaviors, and problem solving and innovating. The OCDSB offers a two-year, full-day, 50-50 bilingual kindergarten program. The program provides all students with the opportunity to develop skill in English and in French. All of our kindergarten classes incorporate 50% French language instruction. This means that children will experience the program equally in French and in English, providing a rich exposure to both of Canada's official languages. Our program is designed for children of all languages. Unlike early French immersion, which begins in grade one, the bilingual kindergarten program is focused on providing our youngest learners with a rich play and inquiry-based experience, facilitated by both English and French educators. Teachers and ECEs implement the program as laid out in the Ontario curriculum document, the kindergarten program, 2016. There are no overall or specific expectations that, are, that set fixed outcomes for French language acquisition for the end of the second or the two year program. Each child will grow and develop their respective and expressive communication skills in both languages in a way that is unique to them. In the kindergarten program, four frames or broad areas of learning are used to structure thinking and learning and assessment. The frames, belonging and contributing, self-regulation and well-being, demonstrating literacy and numeracy behaviors, and problem solving and innovating are designed to support an approach that aligns with the way children's learning naturally occurs and that focuses on aspects 
of learning that are critical to young children's development. The frames reflect the integrated way in which learning occurs during child's play or children's play and inquiry in kindergarten. The four frames align with the four foundational conditions needed for children to grow and flourish, belonging, well-being, expression, and engagement. These foundations or ways of being are central to the pedagogy outlined in the early learning resource, How Does Learning Happen? They are conditions that children naturally seek for themselves and they apply regardless of age, ability, culture, language, geography, or setting. In the figure in the slide, the four frames of kindergarten in the outer circle grow out of the four foundations for learning and development set in the early learning curriculum framework, and that's the inner circle. The foundations are essential to children's learning in kindergarten and beyond. The frames encompass areas of learning for which four and five-year-olds are developmentally ready. In the belonging and contributing frame, this frame encompasses children's learning and development with respect to their sense of connectedness to others, their relationship with others, and their contributions as part of a group, a community, and the natural world. Their understanding of relationships and community and the ways in which people contribute to the world around them. In the self-regulation and well-being frame, this frame encompasses children's learning and development with respect to their own thinking and feelings and their recognition of and respect for differences in the thinking and feelings of others. They learn regulating their emotions, adapting to distractions, and assessing consequences of actions in a way that enables them to engage in learning. Their physical and mental health and wellness is also nurtured. In demonstrating literacy and mathematics behaviors, literacy behaviors become evident in the various ways that students use language, images, and materials to express and think critically about ideas and emotions as they listen and speak, view and represent, and begin to read and write. Mathematics behaviors become evident in students in the various ways they use concepts of number and pattern during play and inquiry, access, manage, create, and evaluate information, and experience an emergent understanding of mathematical relationships, concepts, skills, and processes. Finally, in the problem solving and innovating uh, frame, this frame encompasses children's learning and development with respect to exploring the world through natural curiosity in ways that engage the mind, the senses, and the body. Making meaning of the world by asking questions, testing theories, solving problems, and engaging in creative and analytical thinking. Like other students in our elementary schools, kindergarten students are also uh, assessed, evaluated, and reported on. And that feedback to parents is a very important uh, part of our uh, role here uh, in the school. All kindergarten students are assessed for learning on an ongoing basis, and these assessments are used to inform next steps. Assessment and evaluation focus on growth versus achievement. That means educators support the growth of the child's learning in relation to the knowledge and skills identified in the overall expectations set out in the kindergarten program document. Feedback is provided to students and their parents, also on an ongoing basis. Formal assessments in the form of a communication of learning template are completed. In November, parents will receive an initial observation uh, provided in, uh, during that time period, and that's an opportunity for a parent-teacher interview at that time. Uh, a communication of learning happens two other times in the year, and they're at the end of term one and term two. Term one uh, typically ends the end of January, the beginning of February, and term two ends later in June. Kindergarten uh, teachers and early childhood educators ensure that students are exposed to program expectations repeatedly over the course of two years. Many of the program expectations are constantly being explored, worked on, developed by students through their independent play, guided interactions with educators, and direct teacher instruction. I'd like to um, uh, show uh, our uh, viewing um, parents um, a little bit about our kindergarten world, our physical space here. So I'm going to... Um, Stop the share. Oh, I'm going to click on this link and we're going to be taken to just another.
slideshow. And this is our D. Roy Kennedy Public School. This is, uh, this is your new school. This is one of our classrooms when we have two fully functional uh, kindergarten classrooms in our school. Students uh, in both classrooms have cubby areas where the bags and the shoes and the winter clothes and the boots are all stored uh, during the uh, school day. Our um, teachers in uh, one of our classrooms include uh, Mrs. Gregory, Mr. Jung, both the English and French teacher, and Ms. Ritzima, uh, Ms. Elizabeth, who is our early childhood educator. And in our other classroom, uh, this is what it looks like. And in that classroom, of course, um, uh, we have Mrs. Kurt Goche as our early childhood educator, and Mr. Jung and Mrs. Gregory as our French and English teachers, respectively. The cubby area for that room uh, with the coat hooks and the benches and the storage uh, cubbies above the um, uh, bench. Uh, we do have a uh, extensive uh, fenced in uh, yard for our kindergarten students, um, uh, complemented by our wonderful play structure. Um, and uh, children, of course, uh, love exploring and playing outside. We have a, uh, a very big library in our building, uh, rich with um, resources from kindergarten to uh, grade eight. Um, students uh, from the um, uh, kindergarten classes, of course, love to uh, visit the library uh, and uh, to uh, explore the books that are there. We have uh, two gymnasiums at D. Roy Kennedy. Um, the smaller gymnasium, uh, known as the Puppy Pound, is the one that the kindergarten students access. Um, loving to play games, of course, like Duck, Duck, Goose. And what time is it, Mr. Wolf? Mr. Coombs is our uh, chief custodian in our building. Uh, he works really hard with his team. It keeps our school clean and safe for us all the time. We are, of course, very excited uh, that uh, you will be coming to learn up with us. We will meet many friends, be uh, learning how to be writers, mathematicians, scientists, artists, and friends. And we can't wait to see you on the first day of school next year. The OCDSB uh, does offer extended day programming for uh, students from ages 3.8 years to 12 years old uh, when there's sufficient interest within the school community. Um, many schools in our district operate the EDP program uh, before and after school. At D. Roy Kennedy, we do offer and operate a third party daycare um, program. Um, uh, and the primary difference between the two programs that the board offers and that, the, uh, that our school offers is that um, the Whitehaven uh, and our, as our third party operator uh, is governed by provincial legislation around the Child Care and Early Years Act and the Education Act. And of course, for both programs, you can find information at the board's website. We do have um, some information, of course, uh, about our Whitehaven Kindergarten School Age Center. Uh, it is a uh, program that has been in existence at D. Roy Kennedy for quite a number of years. Uh, ratios uh, are from one to 10 for kinders and for one to 15 for, to uh, the school agers. Jane Goche is the director and Jillian Goche is the program assistant. And I would like to share a little video that the, um, that the um, School Age Center has prepared.
My name is Jane Goche, and um, I'm the director here at Whitehaven Kindergarten School Age Center. The staff here are all registered early childhood educators. Most of our staff have been here for several years. Our staff, I think, are knowledgeable, they're caring, and they're loving. They're a, a good staff. We all sort of work together as a team to provide the get best kind of care we can for the children. Here at Whitehaven Kindergarten School Age Centre, we provide care um, for children from two and a half to 12 years of age. Um, we are a licensed program through the Ministry of Education and we've been ex in existence since 1984, so we're a well-established centre. With saying that we just added our preschool program in 2015. The children arrive here in the morning. We're open at 7.15. Basically, we provide a warm, caring, respectful environment for the children where they feel safe and they can uh, learn to grow. We do a lot of creative activities either through, either through art or music and movement. Basically, our centre is a welcoming centre. I stress with the children that they all respect one another um, and that we work together. Uh, basically, we're bridging home and childcare together. And as well as we have a very, very good board of directors that work very closely with the staff and the children and the parents to meet the needs of the children. What are these five green eggs? Uh, I'm very proud of our preschool program, um, which was licensed uh, late fall 2014, uh, which we started early in 2015, um, but that we have a beautiful retrofitted room um, that provides care for uh, 24 children um, and that it's interesting that you know we have the equipment but we also work very closely with the children meeting their developmental needs. What color is this one? Personally we go beyond not just the hundred percent we go beyond that um, to do to provide the best environment for these children. Do you want to say thank you to uh, Jane Goche for uh, that presentation? Uh, Jane is uh, uh, on our um, uh, video uh, conference uh, tonight in our presentation. If there's any questions being asked uh, in the Google form uh, from uh, parents, we can uh, direct those to Jane. Um, uh, so the Ottawa Student Transportation Authority, or OSTA, uh, provides school bus transportation for our district. Uh, the uh, um, OSTA website, ottawaschoolbus.ca, or you can follow them on Twitter, at OTT School Bus. Uh, you'll get a um, great deal of information about transportation. Uh, the bus stop binder is important, uh, any school bus delays that are happening. Um, safety tips, empty seat applications. Uh, do know that there um, has been traditionally in the past, in August, a school bus safety day uh, provided at four locations around the city. Uh, and information will come out to parents uh, in the summertime about um, uh, that event if it is happening this summer. School bus transportation is available to all kindergarten students who live more than uh, 0.8 kilometers from the school. Okay, and it's important to note that transportation is not provided to or from the extended day program before or after school. What can you do to help your child prepare for this new beginning? Well, there are many ways that parents can support their child prior to entering kindergarten and to prepare them for learning in a school setting. Uh, you can ensure that your child has ample opportunity to engage in different types of play. You can provide daily physical activities to help develop gross and fine motor skills. Uh, talk and listen to your child. Make sure your child's nutritional needs are being met. 
help your child with daily routines such as getting dressed, feeding, toileting, cleaning up after activities, self-regulating their active and quiet playtimes. You can read to your child, and that's a, that's a prefer, um, preferably daily, um, selecting a variety of books, different links and different subjects, trying to connect to your child's world about what you're reading. Talk with and listen to your child about daily activities. What is he or she doing? What uh, do they like? Strong oral communication skills we know will become a solid foundation for later academic achievement. Encourage other adults in your child's life to emphasize the positive aspects of school, making new friends, meeting your child's teacher and early childhood educator, and opportunities to learn, grow, and have fun. Recognize it is sometimes just as difficult for you to face the separation from your child as it is for your child to face separation from you. And take comfort from understanding that these feelings are normal and they will pass as you and your child grow accustomed to the new routine. Uh, you can discover the route your child will travel to and from school and obtain information about walking distances. Several dress rehearsals will build your child's confidence and help establish safety conscious routines. You can develop opportunities for your child's exposure to music, rhythm, and rhythmic activities, which help development and reading skills. You can accustom your child to consistent routines, such as getting up at a certain time, getting dressed, and so forth. You can help your child to develop fine motor skills. Fine motor skills are those skills involved in using the small muscles of the body, including such activities as drawing, cutting, gluing, as well as handling Play-Doh, building towers of blocks, stringing large beads on a string, etc. You can discuss personal safety, busing, and strangers. Be sure children know their name, address, and telephone number. Review the calendar with your child. Circle the day in which your child starts school. You may also wish to mark a gym and library days, class trips, birthdays, and special occasions. Um, you can make sure you label all your child's belongings uh, in an inconspicuous place, indoor and outdoor clothing, shoes, boots, snack containers, drink containers, etc. Prepare your child for successful experiences. Provide opportunities at home with situations that challenge your child to manage alone when toileting, dressing, tidying, and eating. These self-regulation skills help children feel good about themselves and help them realize they can solve their own problems and be supported while doing so. Auto Public Health, uh, has an abundance of resources, school readiness uh, um, and a school readiness web page uh, at their website. Um, uh, it's an excellent resource to assist parents in preparing their children for kindergarten. You can visit their site um, by uh, clicking on the link of this um, uh, this uh, slide presentation when you see it on our website later on. And you can also um, Google um, uh, auto public health and school readiness uh, webpage, uh, and you could find it there. The Ottawa Carlton District School Board. Uh, of course, offers the 50-50 bilingual kindergarten program. It's a two-year program. But after this, parents have a choice of which program their child will attend from grade one onwards. Uh, we will review each of the program options, uh, but the choices, uh, as stated on the slide, of course, are English with core French, early French immersion, middle French immersion, and the alternative program. What parents do need to know is that it's your choice and it's a personal choice. Then you make that choice with the best intentions and the, based on the decision you would like for your child. All are welcome in the programs that we offer. Uh, I will speak a little bit about what DELF is uh, later on. Uh, and it's a French uh, proficiency examination in grade 12. Uh, many people may not be thinking about grade 12 right now, but it does, uh, does come uh, fairly quickly. Um, support, everybody should know support is available in all programs as well. Our English program allows students to concentrate on English language skills. The program is available from grade one to graduation, and that is all the way to the end of grade 12 or the, the end of high school um, at that time. 
program is child-centered and stresses profic proficiency in all subject areas. In this program, English is the language of instruction for all subjects other than French, and French, uh, core French is 200 minutes per week. That's five 40-minute periods, or one, one period a day. At the elementary level, the following subjects are taught. Language, math, science and tech, social studies. In grade seven and eight, that includes a, a, a division between geography and history. Health and phys ed, the arts and core French. A student who successfully completes the English program is expected to have a functional knowledge of the French language. Early French immersion. Uh, it's important to note that kindergarten is not an immersion program. It is a bilingual program. The early French immersion program begins in grade one. And in this program, French is the language of instruction in all subjects other than mathematics in grade one and mathematics and English language arts from grades two to eight. In grade one, math is the only subject taught in English. Students who successfully complete the EFI program and later enroll in the secondary level program, which meets the requirements to obtain the OCDSB extended French or French immersion certificate, are expected to be able to communicate with ease and feel comfortable in either language uh, community in English and French, and also accept employment, training, or further education in either language. The Middle French uh, Immersion Program uh, provides students with the opportunity to obtain a solid foundation in English language skills in the primary grades before starting intensive study in French. A student who successfully completes the MFI program and later enrolls in a secondary level program which meets the requirements to obtain the OCDSB Extended French or French Immersion Certificate is expected to be able to communicate with ease and feel comfortable in either language, uh, English or French, and also accept employment, training, or further education in either language. The open entry point for Middle French Immersion is fourth grade, and the Middle French Immersion program is offered at D. Roy Kennedy Public School. I alluded to and mentioned uh, the DELF. Um, it is a proficiency exam uh, that is offered uh, to grade 12 students uh, who are enrolled in a French as a second language course. Uh, it is an internationally recognized diploma issued by the French Ministry for National Education uh, to validate language skills of a person whose first language is not French. Uh, level B2 is the most difficult and level A2 is the least difficult. Uh, the OCDSB offers this opportunity to all students at the time they are enrolled in a grade 12 French as a second language course. So it can be either core, extended or immersion. And the test is comprised of both a written and oral component and proficiency is measured across four competencies, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. It is not a uh, mandatory that you uh, participate in the DELF uh, examination, uh, but you, uh, students who choose to participate in it, uh, rising uh, participation and success rates demonstrate positive potential outcomes for students in this pathway. The alternative program, um, there are four elementary sites that offer the alternative program, Regina Street Alternative School, Lady El uh, Evelyn, Riverview, and Churchill. And there is one intermediate site at Summit Alternative. Alternative schools receive the same central supports as all schools, and that's professional support staff, learning support services, et cetera. Uh, the following characteristics are found in many of our programs throughout all of our elementary level, uh, elementary level schools across the district. Collectively, these uh, characteristics form the foundation of the alternative education philosophy. Cooperation and teamwork are emphasized instead of competition in all aspects of the school. Innovative approaches to teaching and learning through a shared responsibility among staff, students, and parents. Balance between student-directed and teacher-directed learning. Multi-age groupings. An integrated curriculum approach. A family and community-centered school environment. Assessment and evaluation is ongoing using multiple strategies. The uh, closest um, alternative school or site to D. Roy Kennedy is Regina Street Alternative School. If you are new to Canada, have a school-aged child and English is not your first language, the OCDSB's Family Reception Centre can assist you with enrolling your child in school. Centre staff will provide student assessment and guidance for English language learners and their families, 
and can connect newcomer families with a multicultural liaison officer if needed. And in order to uh, connect with them, their phone number uh, can be found uh, by Googling Family Reception Center. Um, the phone number uh, is also 613-239-2416, and they will help you uh, in their business hours. Of course, registration is now open for kindergarten for September 2021. Again, if your child will be four years old by December 31st, 2021, you can register. You can visit our ocdsb.ca slash kindergarten page to learn more. Um, and if you um, are not in our attendance area, and D. Roy Kennedy is not your um, a designated school, information about the student transfer application and application period can be found on our board's website. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. We really hope that you will choose to become part of the D. Roy Kennedy Public School family and community.